गाइस आई होप एवरीवन इज डूइंग गुड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई ग्राफिकल मेथड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो व्हेन वी कैन अप्लाई ग्राफिकल मेथड सो इफ वी हैव मोर देन टू वेरिएबल्स इन आवर इक्वेशन ग्राफिकल मेथड इज नॉट सूटेबल फॉर दोस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स सपोज आवर इक्वेशन इज 12x1 16x2 8x3 9x5 एंड सो ऑन इट्स मीन वी हैव मोर देन टू वेरिएबल्स इन आवर इक्वेशन सो वी कैन अप्लाई देयर ग्राफिकल मेथड वी कैन अप्लाई ग्राफिकल मेथड इफ वी हैव ओनली टू वेरिएबल्स इन आवर इक्वेशन ओके द सेकंड थिंग इज वी विल फाइंड यूजुअली टू टाइप्स ऑफ लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स फर्स्ट वन इज मैक्सिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम द अदर वन इज मिनिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम्स मोस्टली कंपनीज एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस दे वांट टू मैक्सिमाइज द प्रॉफिट ऑफ द कंपनी so in that case we are um, optimizing we are calculating maximum profit of the company so our objective is maximize z equals to 12x1 plus 16x2 fine the other condition is minimization of z it suppose our equation is minimize z equals to 12x1 plus 16x2 in that case we are uh, reducing and we are decreasing the uh, cost of the production so there we are minimizing the cost of the production right so maximizing we are maximizing a profit and we are in other case we are decreasing and we are we are calculating in a minimum way the minimizing the cost of the company so let's start our uh, question is to solve this maximization z equals to 12x1 plus 16x2 this linear programming problem by using graphical method so what we will do in graphical method step 1 is we will find out the value of x1 and x2 variables then we will put the values of x1 and x2 variables in this equation and we will find out the maximum profit of the company so let's start these are two constraints or two equations so first of all what we will do we will convert these equations into the inequality forms how we will convert Our first equation is this: ten x one plus twenty x two equals to one twenty. We are writing. Okay. Now what we will do? We will put x one value zero first, and then we will find out the value of x two variable. So let's put ten into in place of x one. We are writing zero plus. Now we will calculate the value of x two variable. It will be zero plus twenty into x two equals to one twenty. X two equals to one twenty divided by twenty. Zero zero cancel. We are getting x two value six. So if we are equating x one value zero, we are getting x two value six. Now we will find out x two value. We will put zero and we will find out x one value. Okay. So let's start. If we are putting zero in place of x two, means x two equals to zero, then we will find out the value of x one variable. Okay. So ten x one plus x two value we are putting zero equals to one twenty plus this will be zero. And x one we will find out one twenty divided by ten zero zero cancel it means x one we are getting twelve. If we are putting x two zero, then we will get x one value twelve. Okay. Same way, similarly, we will find out x one and x two variables value for second equation. Okay. Let's start. First, we will write second equation in equal equality form. This one it was for first equation. For second equation is eight x one plus eight x two equals to eighteen. Okay, so for second second equation we will do here. If we are putting x one value zero, it's mean eight into zero plus eight into x two equals to eighteen. We need to calculate x two value. So it will be zero. Eight x two equals to eighty, and x two equals to eighty divided by eight means ten. 
so we are getting x2 value 10 if we are putting in place of x1 0 same way now we will put x2 value 0 and we will calculate x1 value so let's do it Eight x one plus eight into x one x two value we are putting zero. Eighty it will be zero. Eight x one eighty. X one we will get ten. So we are putting x two zero. X one value we are getting ten. Fine. Now we will put it on graph. We will plot it on. Graph. So let's do it. See, for first equation, x1 value 0, then x2 is 6. So this line is for x1 values and this line is for x2 values. Fine? Now, if x1 is 0, then x2 is 6. Let's, so let's start. x1 is this. So if x1 is 0, x2 is this side, vertical line. So x2 is 6. 6 is here. So we are getting this point. Next. If x2 is 0, we are getting x1 12. x2 is this vertical line. So if x2 is 0, then x1 is 12. x1 is horizontal line and 12 is here. So we are getting one point here and one point here. Now we will meet this point in a straight line like this. Fine. Now we will plot a graph for second, a second equation, for this equation. For second, x1 is 0, x2 is 10. x1 is 0, x2 is 10. So, one point we are getting here. And uh, x2 is 0, x1 is 10. x2 is 0, then x1 is 10. So, we are getting another point here. And we will leave this point in a straight line. Like this. Okay, so point of intersection is this. Both lines are intersection to each other at this point. This is the point of intersection, correct? Now what we will do? We will see. We have four corners. This is first corner we are giving name A. This. This is B. We are giving name B. This is C. And this is D. Fine. We need to find out basic feasible solution. So basic feasible solution, how we will check? We will check these two constraints. We can see both the equations are less than equals to less than equal form, right? If both the equations are less than equal form, it means that basic feasible solution will be below of both the lines. It means this. This shaded area is our basic feasible solution. Got it? If both the constraints are less than equal form then both then basic feasible solution will be below of both the lines so we can see this is the first this is the second line so here this area this area is not a basic feasible solution because this area is below of this line but above of this line so uh, according to the condition our basic feasible solution should be below of both the lines correct and this area is also not correct basic feasible solution because this is above of this line and below of this line. Below of this line is okay but this is above of this line. What is the condition? Our equation are in less than equals form. So it means that basic, basic feasible solution should be the below of both the lines. Fine? I hope you understood guys. Now we will find out the values of the point. So at this point x1 and x2 values will be 0. At B point, X1 value is 10 and X2 value is 0. C point, if we plot a graph, then we will find like this. C, 8, X1 value, we are getting 8. And X2 value, we are getting 3. And here, D, this is the D point, right? At D, X1 value, we are getting 6. And X2 value, we are getting 0. Right? X, sorry, x1 value we are getting 0 and x2 value we are getting 6. Because x1 is this value, this one. So this value we are getting 0 and x2 is this side. So x2 we are getting 6, 0, 6. So we got the values of the points. Now what we will do? We will find out the maximize, maximization profit, maximize profit. 
So we will put all these values in this equation. Then whichever is the maximum value that will be our point. That will be our solution. So first what we can do? We can write here A. At A, x1 and x2 both are 0. At B point, 10, 0. At C point, uh, 8,3. And D point, 0, 6. Now we will put all these values in this equation. So maximize z equals to at A point, 8. X1 and X2 both are 0, so it means that it is equal to 0, so it, it can't be our solution. Maximization of B, maximization Z of B, B is 10 and 0, 12 into 10 plus 16 into 0. So it will be 120 and this will be 0. So we are getting 120 at B point. Now maximization at C point is 8,3. So 12 into 8 plus 16 into 3. We are getting 12 into 8 will be 96. 16 into 3 will be 48. 96 plus 48 how much? 8 plus 6 14 and uh, 144 right? Yeah, 144 we are getting at C point. Now maximize at D. D is 0, 0,6. So 12 into 0 plus 16 into 6. So it will be 0. We will get here 96. So we are getting 96. Right? Now we will check. This is 0. This is 120. This is 144. And this is 96. So maximum value we are getting from this point 144 means C point. So we are getting maximum value from C point. So this is our basic feasible solution and we will get the maximum profit from the points 8,3 from these points. Right? And maximum profit is 144. So I hope guys you understood. And uh, I have already explained simplex method in my previous videos. You can check there. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.